My name is Hector Tobar. I'm an assistant professor here at the School of Journalism and Communication at the University of Oregon. I teach uh, classes in reporting and writing, uh, essentially written journalism, the, the prose of storytelling. I began in the late 1980s volunteering at a community newspaper. I then became an intern at the Los Angeles Times and finally a foreign correspondent at the LA Times for many years and a national correspondent. I've been working journalist for 25 years. I was a street reporter for the Los Angeles Times and I, along with many other uh, members of the Los Angeles Times, we went out into the streets and, and covered uh, the 1992 riots when a big chunk of the city burned down. My job was to go to these places where people were looting, witness the looting, witness the burning, the arson. Every moment that I was out there, I knew I was watching history. It's the kind of thing that you sort of dream of as a journalist, to be right in the middle of a, an event that defines the history of a city. And so um, it was my great honor to be out there uh, with my colleagues and to uh, win a Pulitzer Prize. It was, it was a great thrill to, to win that. A stunning human drama playing out a half mile below the Earth's surface. Well, right now, there are 33 men buried alive. They have been down there for three weeks, ever since a cave-in at the mine where they make a living. It became clear to me very quickly that many of these guys had suffered uh, severe trauma. And so it was my job to be both a reporter, writer, and also sometimes a therapist. Um, so it was, it was uh, an incredible uh, experience of entering into this traumatic event from the point of view of these 33 men. I was actually working with the filmmakers even before I'd finished my book. I was giving them uh, chapters from the book, manuscript pages, uh, to help the uh, screenwriters who were working on the screenplay. Um, and so I, I got to see um, the way Hollywood um, producers, directors, cinematographers think about uh, storytelling. And then to see passages from my book, words from my book, characters on the big screen and to attend uh, the um, gala um, opening night red carpet at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood, amazing experience. I know the miners were very happy with it uh, because they felt um, that their story was being told for the first time completely to a mass audience, both, both with the book and with the film. For me, the best part of an interview is when you leave and you can tell that the person feels better about themselves um, than they did when the interview started. So to me, empathy, compassion, understanding of human uh, suffering and longing and ambition, all these human qualities, that's like the most important thing a journalist can have. I feel less important than the people I'm interviewing whether it be a president or a day laborer or a construction worker or a logger, whoever I'm interviewing, at that moment, what they have to say is more important than what I have to say. We have so many different outlets, so many different kinds of voices out there. Um, and I think that uh, in the long run, storytelling will always win out and people who are good storytellers uh, will always have a way to make a living. <laughs>